little big. One thing I've noticed too with when you're working with fondant is the piece you pull off first is always going to be too big. So it's really okay, even though those are pretty even. I'm going to actually cut that in half again, put this to the side, and I'm going to, there you go. Everything kind of starts with a ball, so there you go. Okay, now I'm going to make it into a teardrop. Just kind of work it, and then squish it flat. Oops, it's very sticky. Kind of squish it out. It's going to be his little flipper. Okay, again with the ball, going into sausage, little teardrop there, and then squish it flat. Okay, you want to make it so that they're pretty close. You know, you can always squish it around. Okay, now you're going to take your water, your gum glue, whichever one you you prefer. Just give him a little bit of glue right there. Okay. Take him. Now let's make this little guy right here. Just attach his little flipper. So you got the pointy side up, the teardrop side down, and there he has a flipper. And he's like looking like, what am I doing here? Okay. Okay. Now, this guy. He's actually going to be upside down. So he's our, he's our diving penguin. So we have do basically the same thing with him. He gets flippers too, even though he's halfway in the water. Take our little gum glue. Like I said, it doesn't take much. Now, they got to remember which way he's going. <laughs> All righty, he's going to have his flippers coming out of the water, too. Okay. He's diving in. Okay. All righty. And there's our little part of our little dude there. We got him. Okay, now, I'm going to go ahead and do the white. And again, I'm going to wash my hands because that black will just make our white kind of gray, and we don't really want that. So, okay. Now, for these little guys, what I normally do is I just take the end of a of a piping tip. This happens to be a number 12 Wilton, and I just leave it. Um, I use this as a cutter because it's kind of hard to find a really small cutter. See, it's a number. Number 12, and actually I'm going to use both sides, both um, sides of this. So go ahead and get your white out, and you don't need a lot, so just pull off a piece, cover it up, okay? Put a little shortening on my hands just to, and actually the shortening on your hands will actually keep it from, will help it to stick if you just want to do that. So then I have my little roller here, just kind of. Roll it out, and you want it to roll out fairly thin. Okay, so I'm going to need two because I got two little penguin guys. Now, if it doesn't come out, this is why I like to use a number 12 for this. You can use any size tip because they all basically have the same kind of bottom, the same size. But if you have too small of a hole, you can't get get it back out of there. So I just like to take a, tooth, a paintbrush and just gently tap it out of there. It's just, just it makes it a lot easier. So you're going to do that. You're going to need four eyes. So let's get the eyes. Oh, oh no, you're only going to need two eyes. He's, he's in the ground. He's in the water already, so never mind. Okay, so let's, uh, let's get our little dudes on here. Now, for these, you know, they're round, and uh, you can kind of elongate them a little bit just to make it a little more realistic to do this upside down on my head. Yeah, I work really well that way. Okay, so just a little bit of glue on there. Like I said, just a little bit goes a long way. So just tap it on there. Look how cute he is. Look at that. Okay, just 
just tap it on 